Hi, this is Shady and today and this video is for those who cross train judo and BJJ. This video is for you because there's a lot of mistakes that you are prone to doing and it gets frustrating because we think we're putting just so much amount of work uh, into our ground game and somehow it seems to work against us and I'm gonna talk from my own experience and also something which uh, Travis Stevens discussed very recently. So recently he made a workshop uh, on YouTube. It's Neiwaza workshop where he went on this very big rant uh, and a justified rant at that, uh, talking about those who cross train and trying to take one mentality to another sport. And it was just very eye-opening and it cleared up so many things. Um, now I've been training two years in both and because I'm a beginner and also doing this mistake of taking one mentality to another mat, I got smashed left and right and sometimes somehow you think that you're going in, for example in BJJ you say, oh my takedown game is good and I'm gonna use that as if somehow you have the secret weapon but you're just going with the judo mentality and you just get smashed. You do a takedown or whatever and then you get caught and then they can uh, proceed to wall you even though you got the takedown and in judo you're rolling in neiwaza uh, you try to get out you try to do the bjj principles and you just get stuck and it's a pawn and you're like what am i doing i'm losing uh in both fields uh, what's happening etc and travis stevens um but who's by the way uh, an olympic silver medalist a BJJ black belt, a great guy and formidable athlete. He's constantly working on YouTube, showing things. And uh, why is there so much difference in the mentalities? It's for one simple reason, and that's the pin. The pin changed the whole ground game. Um, now, in those two years, I've rolled with high-level black belts, uh, and I'm talking about judo, and also purple belts, brown belts, blue belts, uh, BJJ black belts, and it just has a different flavor uh, in judo than in BJJ. And in France, Neiwaza is big. Shozo Awadzu made sure before his passing to make Neiwaza very formidable in France. Uh, you know, big clubs like ACBB, uh, Racing, uh, Champigny, etc. They have just formidable groundwork. We see them in seminars and open mats and it's just like explosive and just smashing a groundwork very similar to a wrestler because both of them they don't want to be on their back they know of the concept of the pin and it's just changes the game radically i get a lot of comments people saying you know in jujitsu they they really take their time to assess the position uh they really take their time into establishing da 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 you wouldn't be saying that if there's pin in jiu-jitsu. I can stay inside control all day in defensive or as Hannah Gracie says, it's survival, you guys. If you cannot uh, tap, then you can only win, blah, blah, blah. And I understand where he's coming from. I really do. Uh, because, you know, if you're in a bad position, you, you tend to make, you tend to panic and make uh, mistakes. And that's where you get tapped out. I understand that. But uh, in the context of judo and both self-defense you cannot do this uh i understand you know uh getting someone frustrated where they cannot tap you even though they have the position but in mma in self-defense that will not be the case striking is dangerous if you uh, easily give him the this position and say i'm just gonna quote unquote survive uh that's a different mentality in my opinion, for those who cross train, especially if you're not in the black belt rank, please hear me out. Travis Stevens said something, one simple thing, and that uh, has a lot of meaning and it's very deep. And please take it into consideration because it's very eye-opening. He said something. He said, for BJJ, train BJJ, and for Judo, train Judo. It's as simple as that. Uh, what do I mean by that? For example... Getting out the Yoko Shihogatame in Judo side or side control is a different escape than escaping a side control in BJJ. First of all, in Judo, clock is running out 
and two if you do like a, a elbow escape knee slide and quote unquote guard recovery the time will run out and you're gonna lose as simple as that um, while in BJJ you can uh, you know just go in slowly dig in dig in your knee etc uh, bridging digging in bridging and digging in until you eventually recover uh, guard or at least a knee shield or whatever it may be in judo it's different you have to uh, just get out just simply just get out and get away from him as possible or reverse them into uh, your own pin uh, and that's completely different you have the time that's running against you and also you have uh, just different rule set in general so here's my advice after getting smashed for two years um, and training relentlessly I came up at least for the beginners this is just for the beginners uh, you know maybe your white belt or blue belt in jiu-jitsu and your maybe a blue belt or brown belt in judo hear me out your priorities should be as follows number one establish good top game good top game before guard game i know playing guard is fun and tapping out someone from the guard is fun and uh less energy consuming and you know for longevity in the sport i understand that but uh as a beginner your guard will probably suck and you're gonna get smashed so prioritize top game over guard game and two your numbers two priority should be good escapes escapes will trend because these two believe it or not they synchronize for example in judo uh, you have good top game or at least somewhat you're trying to work on your top game and you're going up against a black belt and they just roll you over and then you're pinned then you have to get out that's why good top uh, position or top game uh, once it failed maybe you just got uh, reversed then you can initiate the second priority which is a good escape and notice how i'm saying escape and not guard recovery travis stevens says don't think about uh you know putting your knee in and recovering guard just think about getting the hell out and i agree uh sometimes getting the hell out is far more important than establishing guard because then you can maybe start the game from a clean slate and third priority is playing guard but that's only when you're you know going up against someone in your rank a white belt or a beginner blue belt then you can you know try to play your guard whatever your preference may be close guard half guard uh, open guard whatever but your priority should be a good top game not just for the grappling but for also self-defense uh, because you know if you establish side control and someone immediately streams out and they get the advantage then I'm sorry but your game sucks you cannot have uh, a tight uh, and just razor sharp guard but as soon as you establish side control you don't know what you're doing and within less than a second they escape you that should not happen you should have a good top game before a guard game as a beginner and as a judoka as well uh, and like i said the second should be followed by a good clean and swift escape and also pin reversal pin reversal is very important and i'll show you a few examples later on so uh, to conclude this train bjj for bjj escapes for the same pins are different in both games because you have different rules and also the concept of the pin applies in judo that's why you have wrestlers coming in and just smashing bjj players there's this uh, uh big video on uh, chujitsu's uh, uh channel that says i'm a purple belt and i got smashed by a wrestler uh, during his first week something like that and it's because this he doesn't want to be on his back he's very explosive he's afraid of the pin in wrestling it's one second i believe uh where his back and shoulders are flat uh that's why he's even more urgent than a judoka so that's why this stuff happens and this is what i'm saying train bjj for bjj if you cross training and train judo for judo and your priorities as a beginner should be good top game and good escape followed by guard game I know playing guard is tempting and it's fun, but 
uh, craft it when you're playing against someone your own rank uh, in judo and BJJ and in judo just like the last thing you should do is play guard maybe if you're doing Neiwaza Randori uh, you know something happens and you find yourself recovering guard uh, or for example someone took you down for Wazari and you're in guard then play your guard but don't say I'm gonna go into the game and play guard as a beginner you should please do not do this you're just gonna get smashed and you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna say hey I'm cross training the two uh, why is this not working out for me a lot of people say you know cross train and you're gonna become just a monster etc but everything has its time and its place and if Travis Stevens says this and he just went on this rant I I strongly suggest you you watch his uh, recent Neiwaza workshop because he explained this far more than I do but I'm explaining from my own uh, experience and my own uh, mistakes that prioritizing top game and pin escapes uh, is far more important than playing guard so uh, here are some good uh, pin reversals for judokas in case you want you know you find yourself escaping or uh, you don't know what to do or how to continue your game I suggest you reverse the pin and you establish the pin yourself okay so here's how you achieve uh, offensive position you reverse the pin here with a cross choke uh, rather than you know a shrimping or uh, recovering guard or whatever in order to become uh, offensive here you apply the cross choke and then you flip them over you turn them uh, and apply the submission or if the choke is not really tight you are in position to pin so this is how you do it it's quick it's swift and in judo rules it's perfect because like i said time is not your friend in judo here is another example where travis stevens is explaining that escaping yoko shihogatame is different than bjj because time is not your friend here's a good one in order to, you can establish reversal and uh land in a pin of your own and if not you can just get up and just get the hell out as he says uh here he establishes a pin so it's different it's like i said quick uh, it's a different technique it's a different approach because the rules are simply different there's no time for keep it playful.com or stay cool under pressure you just have to get out um, that will also like I said uh, translate this mentality uh, very well for self-defense because you do not want to be on your back if something happens uh, even if your guard is just so crafty you might have friends there is striking uh, whatever it may be uh, the, la the, the first excuse me priority should be good top game the second should be good escapes and quick and swift uh, as a beginner especially if you're a beginner I'm not gonna say uh, for a black belt in BJJ you know your priority should be escape I know his guard is crafty etc I don't need to say this to him I'm talking for those who are still uh, beginners in the fields in both fields and you know they're trying to cross train to really up their game and they're getting frustrated and I understand that and apparently it is a phenomenon that happens that's why Travis Stevens even went on this, like I said, extremely justified uh, rant. So I hope this video really helps you in setting your priorities straight and seeing things uh, differently because I needed this wake up call myself. Uh, again, Travis Stevens is constantly working on tutorials and workshops and he's a great guy and formidable athlete and great teacher. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have something to add, please let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.